What's up, family? Yeah, so eating dogs and cats has now been banned in Taiwan. It goes like this, y'all. Killing, selling, and consuming dogs and cats is now illegal in Taiwan. Will South Korea and mainland China follow suit? In a landmark step for animal welfare, Taiwan has outlawed the consumption of dog and cat meat, the first country in Asia to do so. Anyone who buys or eats the meat can be fined up to $8,200. Back in 1998, Taiwan made it illegal to slaughter dogs and cats and sell their meat, but an underground commercial market persisted. And now Taiwan has now doubled down on punishment. Those who cause deliberate harm to cats or dogs can be fined up to $65,000 and serve two years of jail time, up from a maximum of one year previously. The consumption of dog meat in East Asia countries has sparked an outcry from the public and animal advocates around the world in recent years, with China's notorious Li Chi and Dog Meat Festival a flashpoint for the fight. The festival held every June in Yulin, southern China sees 10,000 dogs killed over a 10-day period. Millions of people have signed petitions calling for an end to the annual event. Taiwan's actions mark significant progress in the fight against killing dogs and cats for food, a centuries-old East Asian tradition still legal in China, South Korea, and the Philippines. Adam Parascadola, Director of Animal Protection and Crisis Response for Human Society International, believes Taiwan's decision is evident that a long-standing cultural practice does not have to be a roadblock to ending a cruel and outdated eating habit. In fact, while the high-profile nature of the dog meat industry would seem to indicate a widespread and deeply embedded cultural practice, Humane Society International estimates that 30 million dogs are killed annually in Asia. Most Chinese people actually don't eat meat, eat dog meat, according to a 2015 Animal Asia study. Less than a quarter of Chinese in major cities like Beijing and Shanghai had consumed dog meat in the previous two years. South Korea shows a similar trend away from eating dog meat, especially among young people. Nonetheless, the Animal Welfare Institute, a Washington, D.C.-based nonprofit animal protection organization, reports that two million dogs are killed in the country annually. As the 2018 Pontang Winter Olympics approach, Korea faces increasing pressure to crack down on the industry. In December 2016, authorities called for a gradual end to slaughter practices at Moran Market in Seoul, the nation's largest, which sells 80,000 dogs a year. Vendors have so far resisted and are locked in a stalemate with activists and the authorities over the future of the market which remains in business. Prascadola believes that Taiwan's decision to put additional pressure on China and South Korea, activists in mainland China will say, if Taiwan can do it, the mainland China has no reason not to. All right, so reading this article, the first thing comes to mind is that visit that uh, Chi Ping Jing had with um, Trump at Mar-a-Lago. I, I wonder what they served, because you know they had dinner. So I wonder what was on the menu. Doggone it, I want to know. <laughs> hey man, listen. Of course I'm not Asian, but as the article stated, um, Eating dog and cat meat was is like an outdated habit in, in, in Korea. It's long gone. But older people still consume dogs and cats. Their thing is, hey man, this is what I've been doing. I grew up on this. I don't know nothing else. This is what I'm doing, man. Y'all can go on with all that old animal rights stuff. So this is what I want to know. 
I've always had a problem with this right here about how Asian people eat, many Asian people eat dogs and cats. And people in the West get mad about it. What's the difference between eating a dog and a cat? Their culture is saying that we eat dogs and cats and our culture eating chicken, cows, and pigs, and, and ducks. What's the difference? They're all animals. Some people say, well, it's the way they treat them before they kill them. They torture them for days and, and when they kill them, they tie up their legs and back and other parts and they, they kill them uh, without putting them to sleep, uh, using any type of sedative and it terrorizes them and it makes the meat, they say that it makes the meat more tender. It tenderizes them. The fear tenderizes them. To me, this is just a, a move for Western culture to basically force their ways, force their culture on the Asian people. That's all this is, man. You know, like we eat cows and pigs and ducks and all kind of stuff over here, alligators. And they eat all that stuff too, but they also eat dogs and cats. Here's the thing. If the only reason why it's cool for us to eat cows and we don't have a problem, many of us don't have a problem eating cows and duck and alligator and chicken, we don't have a problem eating it because that's what we were conditioned to eat. If we had been conditioned to eat dogs and cats, we would be eating dogs and cats in America. The only difference is culture, period. What makes our culture better than theirs? They're all animals. Well, I will say this. Dogs, to me, serve more of a purpose than almost any, any animal. So if you want to save somebody, I mean, cats don't do nothing. Cats just creepy to me. They don't do anything. At least if you got a dog, a dog can forewarn you if somebody's approaching your house. A dog can serve as the first line of defense. Before somebody approaches, even approaches your house, a dog can sense it and they start barking. Before your alarm even goes off, before somebody can even try to you know, break into your house, uh, raise a window up and crawl through the window or uh, come through the door, a dog can give you a warning that somebody's out there, something ain't right. Dogs are also used to guide people. You know, you have uh, seeing dogs, you know, uh, for the blind. You have dogs that are used for to, uh, to, to locate missing people. They sniff them out. They, dogs can also be used to detect bombs in the airport and, and chemicals, deadly chemicals. So to me, dogs have many uses. A dog can be used. But cats, man, I ain't no fan of no cats. I ain't never been a fan of cats. Cats are creepy to me. Now, I think the people at PETA and other people around the world who, who call themselves animal rights active activists, I think they're hypocritical. Because, again, on one end, it's cool for them to eat to, to consume, to kill, and to eat cows and, and chickens and ducks and all this stuff and pigs. But then they're telling these people over here they can't eat dogs and cats. They're all animals. They're all animals. I'm going to tell you this. Y'all remember this? It was a movie about a plane crashing and people were trying to survive and and they were dying in the cold and they were starving and they 
actually started turning to each other. They started eating each other. The survivors started eating the ones who died. They were actually cooking them. Like, you know, they made a fire and they started eating them. Um, hey man, when it comes to survival, I ain't gonna lie, man, you know, you cook it right, man, you know, I eat, I eat a leg on, you know, I ain't gonna front, man, you know, we talking about survival here, we talking about survival, right? Yeah, so I just don't see, I don't see the consistency in a lot of these people that uh, consider themselves to be animal rights activists. I don't see the consistency. What I see is a lot of hypocrisy. And so 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 in witnessing this this big old turn of events for a Taiwan uh, coming around to banning the consumption of dogs and cats. This is all about cruelty to animals, right? I wonder when uh, these people going to get around all these good people, these good, decent and bleeding heart people. These love God, love humanity, love animals. I wonder when they're going to get around to uh, banding together to stop the uh, police abuse and the slaughter of black people by the police in America. Like when y'all gonna get when y'all gonna come around to that? When y'all gonna get to that part? When y'all gonna stop police from slaughtering black folks? You know y'all y'all love your animals so much. When you gonna get to that part? I'm wait I'm waiting to hear this one. I can't wait to because I know y'all got a lot of juice. Y'all got a lot of power, and if y'all wanted to change something, y'all could get it done. So. When are y'all gonna get that done? When y'all gonna when when are y'all gonna do that? Cause right now, y'all looking very foolish and hypocritical to me. Uh, hypocritical to me. I don't believe you. I don't believe you really care. I think it's a big old hustle. I don't believe you. Yo, if you like the videos that I'm presenting to you, you find value in them. Go to my Patreon page and join the movement. Patreon.com slash Willie D Live. The link is in the description. No more talk. What, what the haters talking about? Yeah. Order, Texas.